Okay, here we go. I'm going to be in here, but you're not going to see me. And yeah, you'll see this little gash in my head. <laughs> uh, uh, me and a bicycle pedal got into an argument. Bicycle pedal. Eh, one. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? We hang up the bicycles on the wall uh, in the wintertime. So they're off the floor. So they're not taking up floor space. And very, very intelligently, we store our recycle bins underneath where the bikes are hanging. And when I went to put the bins back, I didn't realize in my field of vision that the pedal was right there when I bent down to put the bins back. Boom! Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt right away. But anywho, <laughs> that's why you're probably not going to see my ugly mug. Because I'm going to be talking about this at. Um, I won't say this is the first Life on Mars set. I always call it Mission to Mars. It was Life on Mars. Whatever. <laughs> It's a, it's a, I'm going to say it's a fantastic series. I didn't buy hardly any of them. Uh, I don't think, I don't think I bought a single one off the shelf, really. I think I got a bunch in used lots. I don't think I've ever had this specific one, but <clears throat> because when I went looking for pieces that are, I won't say exclusive to this set, but are preponderantly in this set, that I couldn't find them in my collection. So I would have to say I don't, I've never owned this set until now. So when I was cleaning the used lot, I found these two minifigs. Fantastic minifigs. I've always loved these minifigs. These are the minifigs that I loved. The Mars Missions minifigs, eh. These guys I, I adored. They're so, so cute. Uh, they don't have the... Um, I, I, I don't know if these were before or after the droids from Star Wars, but they have the same body, uh, not the same legs, but the same body as the droids in Star Wars Episode 1, 2, and 3. Um... I guess I got a ton of those, just use lots, like a virtual ton. And again, I've actually bought a few Star Wars sets off the shelf the originally and blah, blah, blah. So I got a bunch of droids that have that that uh, center part of the body, the torso. But anyway, um, so that was a, a, uni a unique piece. But the, 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 the alien heads are, I mean, just, just look at that guy. He's kind of leaning back. He's got... Uh, some smarts to him. He's got the spectacle and the computer interface by the looks of it. And then there's this guy who's a regular Martian. Um, uh, just just cute. And they actually have names uh, like Vega and stuff like that. I can't remember all the names. Uh, because I didn't pay that much attention to this series. This series came out... So this set came out in 2001. Uh, it's the 7316. Uh, excavation searcher, uh, four hundred seventy-one pieces and three minifigs. The only two in the, the only two came in the lot. Silvi, I, I I am missing the third one. I didn't bother go looking to see if I already had the third one, but um, because I thought I was just gonna throw it together, see what see what pieces that I was missing. So I will also have to say right now that I can see what when people kept up with the space lines and the town lines through the early two thousands that. They they acquired new building techniques because <laughs> this is this is um, I mean I'm not saying it's like fantastically awesomely fantastic uh, for building techniques but it's a lot different a lot of it's different than regular building of the old classic space sets but um, the, the 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 color choice sure it works for for the line uh, I I've never had a problem with it I remember seeing the boxes and thinking that'd be really cool to have. Uh, the mechs, the walkers, really, really nice. And it's going to bring this one over here, put it up front, move this stuff to the back. We'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, it comes apart in many, many pieces. Uh, there you go. Zoom in. Kind of looks like a, um, a scorpion-ish with legs, <laughs> with that back tail. Uh, I, uh, this is my standard, by the way. You'll see some white pieces in here. The white pieces did not come with the set. Uh, white pieces are missing pieces, and I substitute white overall if the white's available to substitute with that piece, so I know which pieces I'm missing in any of my sets. And so this one, there's a few white pieces on some of the hinge plates because I didn't have enough uh, old dark gray hinge plates, like right there. Uh, because, of course, I built my wonderful uh, MMM3, uh, MMMT, uh, theme myself, and I used a lot of those in plate shaders. So a lot of dark gray that I could have used to substitute in here, I used elsewhere. And I'm not going to take apart those sets. <laughs> so, so there's that. Uh, and, and some of the orange, uh, like the orange uh, tile, round tile. I, I, I didn't give my uh, 
my collection is an extensive search for that tile because again the orange isn't as sorted out as the original basic colors but blah 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 there's my excuse i'm sticking with it um but uh if you see white uh on here and even this this gray piece this 6 uh l or 8 l uh hinge uh click hinge um i couldn't find one in white to substitute because i i don't i didn't have a tan so i uh, used uh a light gray one there so that's uh but other than that, so there's a few, I would say, uh, a dozen pieces uh, that was missing out of the lot, which I think is extraordinary considering it has 471 pieces. Uh, the rest I substituted from my collection, white and one light gray. But anyway, so about the actual set, it does come apart, which is kind of uh, um, uh, something that, um, of course, Blacktron did. Uh, and I like that uh, they, they use the the newer type of um, uh, pin and Technic brick. They use the double Technic brick instead of building two. You know, if you remember the original Blacktron, they had to use the the two by two with pin on it, and not the one by two with two pins on it to connect everything together. And that's fine. It, it is what it is. Um, where does this come apart? This comes apart too because this comes off. So it all separates into various various entities a little tiny flyer i guess a little tiny flyer here uh this hangs from the bottom of the storage unit for the uh the meteorites or whatever you want to call them uh this is kind of cute and just locks in the bottom via like that and then going oh, that's interesting that's a that's a neat thought um this thing is just a the staging for holding the uh and the other ones i was missing was uh trans neon orange uh, meteors. I have a whole bunch of trans orange, so I didn't substitute them. I only, I, I don't have any trans neon orange at all, which is very, very odd. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Maybe I do, I couldn't find them. So it's supposed to have two, I only have one. That's perfectly acceptable. And supposedly when you take this thing apart, you can put this thing on top of here. So all of a sudden you have your uh, little tiny, like a little mech here. Um, so this can, this can walk around on its own. So yeah, kind of cute. Um, so you can mix and match. You can put this on the back here and also you have a very, very short walker mech. <laughs> you know, uh, I had fun. I honestly had fun building this. I, I had a lot of fun uh, building this. And um, it, it was from, and again, I never built one of these before. So I, <clears throat> when I was actually building this, I say, hey, I use this exact technique, 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 technique on my, um, my MMMT uh, moon base guys. Uh, because I, I, I find it a lot more secure to use these uh, and those uh, the, the, the one by two with two holes in it to lock everything down. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying I stole from them because <laughs> I don't remember ever building one of these sets before. And it's, 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 a, it's a commonplace thing, so I'm not going to say anything about, um, um, like, the... Uh, I think i got to put this on the other way. Can I put this on? Yes, I can put this in the way. There we go. And then turn this around. And then we like that. So, so now we got a small mech. <laughs> a small walking mech. That's kind of cute. Uh, the ability to mix and match pieces. Um, some playable features. Uh, I will say this thing has some really good playable features on it. Um, <clears throat> for what it is. Um... Because again, just like the uh, Blacktron, you can mix and match pieces in it. And I, and I was the the end of the the um the instructions show that you can when you buy the other mechs and other pieces and uh, other sets in this line, they can mix and match pieces again, just like Blacktron one. So they reuse that concept, but I think here they made it um a little different, a, a different enough to be cool uh, on its own. Uh, the playability, like the, the 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 gates to open down in this guy is supposed to pick this up, but I found. The, it doesn't work that way, so you actually have to go backwards <laughs> to pick up the um, to pick up the meteorite in here. Um, again, I always never like these these uh, these grabbers because they never seem to want to grab nicely without actually you putting it in there. So um, and then it comes up and it falls out. <laughs> so I think I need a stronger elastic on there. I got the old yellow elastics that. Um, I think I could double it up maybe, but hopefully without breaking them. Um, and then it comes over here. So let's get this thing over there. Bring this thing over. I guess this is a processing plant that connects to uh, the big base, which again, I don't own. 
uh, it has the same connectors on front ish that has connectors on back ish so this thing is like a, a base and this thing's supposed to walk up or back into beep 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 you know these these gates open up and then it connects get this thing in the way it connects right there so no, the whole thing's connected together uh, i guess this is supposed to be stationary and these guys are supposed to be walking around <clears throat> whatever it's fun <laughs> loads of fun and then what, what i found is i had to do this so i put this thing back in here um let me just turn this thing sideways completely so you can see what happens get my arm in the way i'm gonna push these things together because i have to hold it and it comes over here and it drops it down this little ramp and it goes right into the bin yay <laughs> so so that's kind of neat and then the guy over here is processing blah 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 the control panel there uh just like every almost every other classic space set or any other space set there's not a lot of controls which always annoys me uh there are three control panels and one control slope in this entire set uh it is what it is it honestly is and, and again that's something i always nitpick about because you know if you're you're running a spaceship you look at the you know star trek star wars there's a million lights a million switches a million panels but here they and again i get they have to limit it <laughs> so um and then there's a little flyer so the little flyer, the guy standing down here behind the little flyer and um flying around so you know it, it is fun and then when you when you're done this thing goes back into here right underneath and you got the little one by two with two holes down there and this thing just comes up like that folds in connects there and it's out of the way kind of hangs there in the bottom well when then they go off to the next place to go looking for minerals and or whatever they're looking for what i like about life on mars what i've always liked about life on mars it didn't seem to be a conquest and or military and or whatever else unlike um Mars missions where basically you kidnap the aliens, you put them in the white tubes and you take them around. <laughs> so again, I'm not going to fault the Mars missions, but uh, Mars missions seem to be a little more uh, military <laughs> than the life on Mars. And 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 again, the life of Mars, uh, Mars missions or Mars, whatever, mission, Mars missions, missions, Mars, uh, the, the, the alien, it's just two pieces and it's, 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 you know trans green and has a little bit of a glowy thing where the heart's supposed to be kind of like et and i'm going i get that but then they got a big hole in the chest to put it into the 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 little whatever the little thing that goes through the aero tubes and going like it always gave me a queasy feeling <laughs> like they're gonna gonna do experiments on them um not that that was Im explicitly implied but it was it was there i thought um overall i would say that this set here comes with a lot of cool pieces, straight up, a ton of cool pieces. Not too many basic bricks at all. Uh, most of it is cool pieces. And most of like old brown, fantastic. Dark gray, fantastic. A lot of light gray, fantastic. A lot of tan, as you can see, a ton of tan. Um, you know, so it is it is a good set if you get a hold of one and inexpensively, and you can do a lot with it. Um, I, I would imagine that a lot of people just buy it for the parts. <laughs> So even a little bit of orange here and there, um, the, the, you know, the arms move and whatever, everything, everything is uh, adjustable. Um, as they say, you can mix and match parts to build mechs and whatever else you want. And, it, and it, it, I guess it interfaces with the rest of the line, which again, I haven't hardly built any. <laughs> so I don't remember building hardly any at all, actually. I can't even remember off the top of my head if I built any of these until today. Um, yeah, and so about that. So um i have an excel spreadsheet of all the classic space set or all the space sets uh, going up to space police three and galaxy squad and all that i would have to say that from classic space 1978 to about mid 90s i bought the majority of them off the shelf uh around unitron i started not buying every single set uh spireus unitron roboforce i i mean i, I was um the rcx hadn't shown up in the market i think if i remember correctly the rcx came on the market in 1998 but i was so as i say in the 90s buying used lots for classic space and some castle and some town uh, and a lot of base plates uh and i didn't care about the newer sets that were coming up because they didn't they didn't inspire me as much as the originals did for various reasons uh i look back on that now i'll say the dark ages of buying new sets um I didn't miss it. 
<laughs> a lot of people say, oh, I wish I did. I, I, I don't. Again, first of all, I got most of the sets just like this one in used lots. I got this in used lot. Now, it would take me, you know, a dollar fifty of Brickling quarters, quote unquote, to get this thing to be completely identical to the actual instructions, get rid of all my white and light gray pieces. I'm not going to do it because <laughs> I don't, I, I, I like the set. I'm going to keep it together. I'm not going to sort this thing back. Into, like every time I build a classic space net, now it goes into a Ziploc and goes into storage. Uh, because I have enough pieces in my collection to not worry about losing these pieces into like keeping them together. And and should I get to the point, probably when I retire, to go through all my sets again and replace all the whites with the proper colors, I'm going to be doing that. And I'll do it at that time. Uh, but for now, um, but when, I, when I'm when i looking at this, and again, I, I, I talked about this, and I don't know if I talked about it in the video. If I had unlimited space and unlimited money, this would, I'd have all of them. I'd have every single classic space set or every single space set period. Uh, because I, I like the line. I really do. I, I, I you know, even, even I disparage Robo Force, it's not a bad line. It's the, it's the, my least favorite, but it's still a good line. Uh, Life on Mars. Again, I never owned one before. Well, I've owned lots, but I just, for three through use lots i never put one together before <laughs> so that i remember uh now that i have it's it's fun it, it's nice but i'm glad uh I, I i'm not kicking myself for not buying it back then i just okay it's nice um is it a galaxy explorer to me no <laughs> is it a space start no <laughs> but it's nice it's cool it, it, it has a lot more detail a lot more functionality a lot more uh esoteric coloring which, 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 as the as the as it went through later, um, they didn't use solid colors. They mixed and matched colors a lot in the later series, and I and I like that. Uh, it's not my necessarily my favorite thing, but I don't mind it. And uh, so, in the end, if you if you can get one of these things inexpensively, I think you should because it it, it has as I say, lots of cool pieces and old brown that doesn't break when you try to take it apart. <laughs> I, I, I will say not to go off in this tangent right now, every single time. And I, and I keep him and I don't know why I forget, but I, I, I get a used lot that has pieces like from last year or two years ago or four years ago. And I'm taking it apart to wash it. And I had a four by 12 and I, I'll pull it out. And it goes four by 12. One of the last things I dumped in here. Not to go off on a tirade about this. Four by ten. Four by ten. New brown plate. Not even dusty, but I washed it anyway because I wash everything. Uh, but to get it apart, <laughs> it was there was stuff on it, and and so um, I just pulled up and it snapped. Like it was, it wasn't even like a lot of strength. Like I with the old pieces. Like I get the old gray now it's completely brittle like and i'm very 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 cautious with it because it's from 1978 or before <laughs> so all my old pieces i I'm, I'm cautious with but a piece that is not i don't think there's a date on this thing um um 2000 oh it says 3030 so that's not a date that's the part number i would imagine uh i don't know if there's a date on here anywhere but it's this is not that old and I just basically, with a little bit of fingernail underneath there, and tried to pop it off, and it just snapped. Son of a... And this isn't one. This is this is almost... <laughs> so I was like, I gave up on these things. I I, I, I don't even bother building with brown anymore because cause I'm worried about what's going to happen. <laughs> so it's like, old browns... I, I dug some of these pieces out of my collection and, and, and out of this, you know, this used lot. Perfect. Perfect condition and no issues whatsoever. It's just like... Oh. Really? <laughs> it's just frustrating. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, I will say the one deficiency about these these guys is that they can't sit. <laughs> They're always standing, uh, which I find to be a little bit odd, but that's okay. And um, But old pieces, uh, old Lego's cool Lego. Uh, old Lego doesn't let me down nearly <laughs> as much as New Brown does. Um, I'm not going to disparage anymore. Everybody's ranted about it. Everybody's raved about it. Um, I'm happy with this set, as I say. It, it, it is a really, really solidly cool set. And it's got a lot of playability in it. It's got a lot of... I mean, this thing is like what it is. But I think it's just... This, this is supposed to add on to the mega city that you can you could have got back then if you already have it. Uh, so 
that's that was that would have been a cool thing to have but again I, I wasn't buying back then i wasn't buying a lot of new sets off the shelf back then and and i didn't i don't regret not i don't regret not buying sets back then <laughs> now my pocketbook probably thankful but my you know retirement nest egg probably <laughs> would have appreciated hey go buy a cloud city and sell it right now um I, I don't look at that. I never looked at Lego like that. I've never ever said, oh, I'm buying this for an investment. No. <laughs> like, I have a, a billion pieces behind me. Oh, it's an investment. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, uh, we we get into the topic, the, the conversation every once in a while. How do we appraise this 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 collection? I, I, I'm at a loss as to how to appraise this collection. And again, I'm, I'm building all these sets. And putting them in Ziplocs and putting them away just to see how many I can build. Kind of my little thing right now. <clears throat> and that would help with the assessment of how much the lot is worth. But the number of, uh, just say, uh, the number of Galaxy Explorers and 924s and 918s and 6890s and 6980s and blah, 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 I have is a drop in a buck with how many pieces are behind me. Um... Before I built them, before I built them, um, all the pieces fit in this room. After you build them, there's a lot of airspace in these things that they have to go into a tote into the garage. There's no room in this room when they're built in a Ziploc because there's so much airspace and whatever. I got six or seven totes in the garage right now of built classic space and other sets, town and and castle. But if I if I break them all down put them back into they would fit back into this room <laughs> so because they would so and, and yet this room doesn't look any emptier now than it did before i started this little quest of mine so it's like um if i took apart my tower you know if i took apart the entire layout it would fit in this room all the pieces would fit back onto the shelf i, well, I think i'd probably have to get some some new <laughs> containers but uh so even with all the sets built that i'm building and it's well over, I think, 100 now. Uh, I don't see any change to this room at all. And again, I, I will be the first one to say, yes, more pieces are still coming in because I still have all that to sort. Um, I, and, um, but basically, you would have to sell this room in bulk. That's what you'd have to do. Uh, to try to open up a BrickLink store, sure, that you'd have to have the time and the patience to start sorting via BrickLink um, standards. Um uh, as I sell the basic brick are ready to go. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm 55 now. I remember having some discussions on Lugnet years ago. What happens when we die? And not to get too morbid on it. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. Trust me. There's nothing, nothing in, in my health concerns right now. Uh, but, you know, I am past the half a century mark and I do have this extensive collection and I don't know what's going to happen to it. And nor after I'm dead, I, I'm, I'm gone. I'm not really going to care about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but until then, I, I, I ruminate. I, 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 I ruminate. Hmm. What, what should we do? And, and, and again, I keep on saying that there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in here. I, I, I've said it a million times. We are part of a hobby that overall, I mean, there's some people are built differently. Some people, very, very few people that I've met build differently. Uh, but overall, we are part of a hobby where 99 point, well, it's getting to be 99.999% of the pieces you will never use. They're, they're in a room here in boxes and bins and storage containers and blah, blah, blah. 99.9. Uh, it would be, there's, I've met a few of them online where a person who wants to build something will design it in uh, whatever IO. <laughs> For us, old folkies is MLCAD, but the latest version of that from Lego Studio. Lego Studio. And, and they will order the specific parts for that build. They will build that build and then put it on the shelf or whatever they do with it. They don't have a collection of storage containers full of basic or unused brick uh and i i admire that <laughs> right now because <laughs> so, this is this is this is almost untenable <laughs> so it's like hey what am i gonna do um so I, i've talked about it before i am thinking about downsizing and i just don't know how to start um 
I'm gonna make another video right after this uh, on the uh, on the TikToks um, for like you know uh, something something niche that you know nobody else would care about, but your fans uh, your fans of the same hobby would think is really awesome or really showing off like flexing. Uh, but um, excuse me, in the end, it's like I I, I try not to dwell on it because then I get depressed. I will say that when I when I start really 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 thinking about how to separate or dispose of or remove this collection from the house and get it to people who want it and get a proper uh, return on investment, not like trying to price gouge people. Um, Cause I don't, I don't believe I do. I've, I've actually, guys, you know, last year I was selling stuff, uh, the printed brick, which I still have this many of. <laughs> And, and I don't think I was like price, price gouging at all um, with people. And um, I'm going to change that around. This this was my very first attempt, and I forgot to put the space in. <laughs> this is what I had on my 918 until I reprinted them, so I'm not sending that to anybody. Uh, but this is what I have left. <laughs> so, but, um, <clears throat> and I've had a few friends, a few friends that have, uh, you know, t talked to me uh, either on the YouTubes or sending me emails, and we had a discussion and, and a back and forth. And hey, how's your how's how's your family? How's your wife? How's your how's your life? How's how's where do you live? What's what what do you do for a living? Blah blah. It's been nice. It's been I will say I have two or three friends that just exclusively email me, and we we have a email conversation daily almost, and I love it. I think it's I think it's the best thing in the world. Cause I'll, I I don't think I'll ever meet them. Like they're somewhere in the world, uh, either in Hawaii or wherever. And and and, and so, but anyway, what invariably comes up, they say I'm trying to build something, and I go, oh, what do you need? What do you need? <laughs> because invariably they're like classic space as much as I do, uh, and so <laughs> like they're not going. I I I have I I'm playing pirates, and they're emailing me. No. <laughs> so, um and and oh, it'd be nice if I had a couple base plates. Got you covered. Just throw them in a box. Email them, or <laughs> email them. To, email them over to wherever they are. <coughs> and 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 we work out a price beforehand. This is not a BrickLink store. I am not a BrickLink store, not yet anyway. Uh, but we work out a price beforehand, and I always say to them, "Pay me when you get it," because I'm worried it'd be lost in shipping. Um, and and if it's expensive, I put a tracking on it so I know they get it and they get it and they and they pay me a nice a nice reasonable amount. And that's my whole thing. I'm not in this as a retirement package. This is not my, this is my hobby. I want to be doing this when I'm retired. I don't want to get rid of any of it. I want to get rid of all of it before I retire. Cause I'm going to be, Hey, I'm going to be in the living room. <laughs> so it's like, um, <clears throat> but, um, but knowing how much stuff I have and how, knowing how fortunate, how, how, oh crap. That's fine. Uh, how fortunate I've been in this hobby that I've managed to acquire because I, I again talked about being at the right time at the right place through my entire life for the, for this specific hobby, um, um, uh, that I've managed to amass a massive collection between 1965 and 1990, um, that, other people are interested in now because they didn't have the luxury that I had. They didn't have the life that I had. They didn't have the, the opportunity that I had. And I'm not going to, I am not the person to lord that over somebody else. Oh, you didn't get that set? Well, I'm going to charge you through the, through the nose for it. No, no, I'm not. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's not, it's not who I am because I was fortunate. I, I, I had a friend on that. I met at a, a like a, a Lego convention years ago and we became, we stayed friends overall. And he had a really big Brickling store, a really big Brickling store. I don't know if he still has it because I rarely go on Brickling anymore. And, and he actually emailed me. He, he emailed me uh, and he says, Dave, I have 30 plus trader plates that I do not want to put on my Brickling store because they're not good enough for, for my, you know, OCD to put on my Brickling store. They don't look new to him. <laughs> and he says, five bucks a piece. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> take, take, take my money. <laughs> so, so this is years ago. This is like 20 years ago. Um, and so uh, I got 30 plus. I'm one, one at five bucks a piece. And, and I'm looking at them and I'm going, me, colorblind, whatever, and, and, and not, whatever, not caring. 
they're mint. <laughs> they were they were better than the base plates that I had when I was a kid that I got with the six eight nine zero and the six nine. Uh, I mean the six nine eight zero, six nine seven zero, six nine seven one. They're better than that. And that was 30 of them, 30 plus. I think it was more than 30. But I got up. And so I got a stack of crater plates that I, I wanted to use in a big layout for one show only and just put like throw it, bleh, base plates and landing pads and T intersections and, and then throw out all my spaceships and all my buildings and whatever. And see how that and see how well that goes over. But I want to do that once, and then I'm done. I don't want to. I don't want to lug this stuff around. I don't want seven totes in my garage. I don't want seven totes in my garage. <laughs> One maybe. <laughs> I don't want seven totes. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need ten galaxy explorers. I don't need that. <laughs> But again, I just don't want to give them away to anybody who's asking for one, unless you know it's a bona fide charity for for sick kids or something like that. Then, like we did for BrickFet, here you go, no sweat off my nose. I got it for cheap. I'll give it to you. Give it. Give it to. Give it to you for whatever charity you want to raffle off law for. And I and I and that, because it's, because I don't need it. <laughs> but again, I don't want to just give things away. So it's it's that's my debate now, and it, and it's been going on for quite some time, actually years now. <laughs> so it's like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I I don't know. I honestly don't know. I said a lot about this. Um, that was a tangent at the end of my review for the seven three one six excavation searcher. Um, it's a nice set. You know, is it going to be ranking up there in my favorites? No. <laughs> is it the worst? No. <laughs> so, it's a nice set. It's a nice set. As I said, lots of parts. I'm going to stop talking about everything else. Lots of parts, lots of pieces. And um, I'm going to keep it together. And, and and I'm going to put minimal effort into finding the missing pieces. Like Again, I, I don't know why I couldn't find any 2 by 3 tan slopes i can't <laughs> I, thought, I thought i would have some and i don't uh but i'm I've, well, all my tents not sorted properly so it's just like whatever um i will have to say uh, well sorry before we get off uh this video um there was some really cool orange pieces that i got and there was some really cool dark gray pieces that i got and um i may revisit my mmmt um modular uh, moon based guys and build some more stuff for it so i that might be coming up um i do i do mean to do all the space sets for review this is one that was kind of way off in left field it's not even part of the 6800 to 6991 that's 787316 but i did also want to do all the other ones like and that is 1968s all the other ones so i am planning on trying to do at least well, I am trying to do all the sets that I can find that I have and review. And uh, my problem is that it takes time to get the pieces together now out of my collection to build them. And uh, I've been procrastinating on getting a 6991 together, even though I know I have at least five copies of that. Uh, <laughs> one I got for $19. Anyway, uh, I'll talk about that during the 6991 review. Uh, that's it. That's all. Sorry for boring you. Um, I'm going to sign off now and, um, call it a day. You guys all stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you soon.